Hey guys, what's up? It's Melanie. Today we're going to do a pretty cool look on this old Thomasville dresser. I hope you like it and I really hope you're enjoying. If you look in the background there, I finally cleaned out my garage and made space to have an actual place to stage furniture and to film. I'm pretty stoked about that. I have the whole back wall. I had that old tapestry that I've just had forever in a box took my um, projector screen. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been using one of those for a while. Put it on the side, so now I've got like a little, little corner. I'm super stoked about it, but let's get busy. Let's see what we can do with this old dresser. Alrighty guys, I wish I wasn't a hardware snob, but I guess I am, because these guys just gotta go. I think these are better. They feel a little bit more French provincial. It just, I don't know, seems like it'll fit the piece better. So let's go ahead and get those off. We gotta clean this bad boy up. Unfortunately, these holes are not the same size, so I'm gonna need to use some wood filler, fill these bad boys in, give this guy a light sanding because as you can see, it's reflecting like crazy. Anything, ah, kind of my role to go by. If you can see your reflection in it, you might wanna give it a light sand just to make sure your paint adheres. I don't care what kind of paint you're using. We're gonna go ahead and start off with Prairie Gray by DIY. I'm gonna paint my drawer edges and those little tiny pieces around the sides so that my drawers will continue to float in and out when we're all done. Now we're gonna mix in some salt wash. Recommended dose for salt wash is like 50-50. 50 paint, 50 salt wash. Well, DIY paint's already super thick so i always end up adding a little bit more water to that so that way it's just not yeah a big chunk of junk add a little bit of water and we're just going to start dabbing it on we're getting a lot of texture with this look i'm using a cheap cheap chip brush so i can toss it when i'm done we're just gonna keep doing this stippling pouncing effect throughout the entire piece when it's almost dry, you wanna take your brush and just kind of swipe it over real lightly. That's gonna knock back any of the spaces that may be just too high. Okay, so we are in New Mexico. It is pretty dry here. We don't have a lot of frogs, but we do have toads. We just had a bunch of rain and this lady posted on Facebook that she had a huge mud puddle in her front yard and look what happened. So I asked her, if I could have some. She met me at Home Depot, and now I have my own crew. Okay, now we're just gonna use the same cup. We're gonna add in just a dab or two of Little Black Dress so we can make a nice new color so we can continue on this piece. It's still gonna flow together though. We used our base color, we're just adding another. It's all gonna be kinda, uh, you know, flowy. kind of shading out those corners out in the dark but as you can see when I just lightly like lightly like dry brush kind of over the middles I'm able to blend it in because I'm getting the bumps and hubs from the salt wash so it's like it's like just picking them up like just in the high spaces and that's allowing everything to just kind of flow oh, yeah that looks like flowy <laughs> just kidding it'll get better hold on Hey, before the next step, we need to get rid of some of our bumps and humps. So I'm just gonna take a sandy pad and give this guy a once over. This stamp is called Rose Toil by IOD. You can find it on my website. I'll put the links in the comment below. We're gonna use the charcoal ink, the ink pad, and we're gonna give this guy a little bit more flavor. I really like this stamp. It's a uh, subtle but it's got like some really pretty, yeah, you, you watch, you'll see. We want it to be subtle, subtle but good. So let's just keep using these guys. We just want to kind of fill up the negative space here and give it a little bit more pizzazz 
and um, see the beautiful rose toil. How do you even say that? I don't even know. Um, yes. I have to admit, I was being lazy. Lay it down. Oh my God. It's so much easier if you lay it down. You can apply some pressure. You don't have to worry about anything sliding. It's just, um, you know, work smarter, not harder. But you do have to take that, you know, you know what I'm saying. And here we are. Pretty cool. You can see all that stamping there. I do want it to be a little bit more faded though. So let's keep moving on. All right, we're gonna add in a lighter color. So I used Wise Owl's Bone and I threw in the same colors I was using before. So my Prairie Gray and a tad bit, a little back dress, mix that all up and what do you know? I got a super light gray. Let's keep moving on. I'm doing kind of a washy thing like this. Don't forget to add water to your paint. I forgot to tell you, I did water this down quite a bit. I'm gonna spray the entire area that I'm working on with Melanie's Magic Misting Bottle and then I'm gonna apply it. And then I'm gonna spray it again and I'm gonna take a towel, you can use a paper towel um, or you know a rag, whatever you wanna use, just spray it. But then you wanna wipe it back up because we don't want droopies and runnies everywhere. We just want it to be kind of a, like a wash, like a whitewash. Okay, for this piece, we're gonna be using three different waxes. We're gonna start out with DIY's clear wax, move on to DIY's white wax, and then we will finish up with Wise Owl's black wax. We're gonna use this brush, it's the best waxing brush ever. This is a two inch palm brush. Again, if you're interested, you know where to find it. And DIY's clear. I also have some of that in stock too. So let's go ahead and get this all covered. Now we're gonna dip into our white and let's um, highlight and, you know, just kind of make it, let's give it a little more bang. I tend to work in smaller sections when I wax. I like to have a towel handy so I can wipe it back as I need to before it like, you know, sticks. Remember, you have that clear underneath there, so that's gonna allow you movability and give you a little bit of relief if you messed up you can go back in with your clear and kind of use it as an eraser so don't freak out just remember clear first then go with your colored waxes unless you are totally willing to commit then you know just go for it but i'm not clear first for me always When my girls were little, we did stuff like this all the time. The tadpoles, the frogs, the, oh my gosh, just anything I could get my hands on. I really, really like to um, do this kind of stuff. I certainly still enjoy it, even though my children no longer live with me. Right now I am sorting because we have some guys that are already turning into frogs and we have others that are still tadpoles. So I'm gonna put them in different enclosures so they don't all take off and um, die on the hot rocks that they will encounter. Um, poor little guys, they don't really think they know. Look how cute they are. They're all up on this mossy rock. I love it so much. You call me a saint, but you know I'm a stranger. And what do you know? My girls are still just like me. Here they are over to visit um, with the tadpoles and the frogs. This is what they will turn into. This is a toad <laughs> holy smokes and let's get that new hardware on there it's not new it's actually vintage hardware that i ordered off of ebay um it was actually a pretty good deal sometimes that stuff can get super pricey ebay is always my go-to etsy yeah they'll just rake you through the woods rape you 
know what I mean? I use some DIY clear wax and we are gonna mix in some pewter mica powder by American Paint Company. I get this from my good friend Kathy. If you guys are interested in that, I will put it in the comments below also. We are just gonna mix it up and give this guy a little bit of bling. Then we're gonna wipe it back. It's a surprise, surprise. Melanie got a little bit carried away with that mica powder. Don't get crazy. So I ended up taking the sander to it with some fine, and then I liked what I did. Did I show you that? No, I didn't, because I really thought I was just gonna scrap the whole damn video. But it turned out so cool that I just couldn't. So here we are. Remember, I sand it after. Eh, that's not so hard, right? All right, guys, here she is. I hope you like it, and I hope you like my little tadpole frolly friends. If you want to see what happens with them, stay tuned. You want to find any of this stuff, you can find it on my website. And remember, only you can make it happen.